All right. Say hello, Chef Reggie. How you doing? All right. At the moment, um, this is Master Prophet Ebert on Jordan. We're um, in my kitchen, and we're going to be um, talking to you for a moment. We're doing the Daniel fast. I'm doing the Daniel fast anyway. And um, while we are in the process of doing this Daniel fast, I have my chef that is making the foods for me that is going to be good and nutritious. So. Uh, this is day two of the Daniel Fast, and um, we had Bishop Womack talk to us about the coconut oil. And um, I'm going to show you the coconut oil. Now, the coconut oil, he has us doing something known as oil pulling. And this is all extra virgin um, coconut oil. Now, with this organic extra version coconut oil for 20 minutes in the morning 20 minutes in the morning we um, swish the coconut oil and we first get up in our mouth for 20 minutes um, chef Reggie tell us how long you've been doing that coconut oil for about five years five years what made you get into doing the coconut oil um, I read online about fluoride and the harmful effects that it has on the human body. So I decided to cut fluoride out of my life and I did the research on what I could replace it with and I came up with the um, coconut oil and you go to still use sesame oil, but the coconut oil tastes more better. So when I read the benefits of everything that it has to offer, it just made sense to make that switch. So. I do it every morning for 20 minutes, and you feel great. Um, you you have no worries about it's like it's like having a dentist in the can. Wow, great, great, great. Okay, so let's talk for a moment. You did breakfast this morning, yes. And um, in the breakfast on this Daniel fast, you did oatmeal, and we're gonna look at the remainder of the oatmeal. The oatmeal was really great today, and. Um, Tell us what is in the oatmeal here today. I know it doesn't look great from the pot because everybody has been eating out of the um, pot here, um, here with the oatmeal. But we're gonna go into um, this here. And um, we're starting our block ministry now. And um, what do we have here? Well, first we have to start with the oats. Now this is 100% gluten-free steel-cut oats from the award-winning Red Mill, Bob's Red Mill. This is, he's very famous, he wins awards. Um, There's a uh, award show that goes on for, for wheat, the best wheat in the world in Ireland, and I think he has about like five titles. So we start with the award-winning steel-cut oats. So you use steel-cut oats, so here we have the steel-cut oats here. Um, let's see if I can get that in in view here so that you can get it. Then if you all um, stop chatting, some of the people will be able to um, capture that. So we use steel cut oats. And um, we did not do brown sugar today like we usually do brown sugar and usually, stuff. What did you put into the oatmeal? Nothing. It was plain and bare. And um, what we used to, to add flavor is we used 100% peach composite. No added sugar maybe a little hint of cinnamon just for flavor just to give it a little taste and just mixed it in and let it ferment so you did um so you just put peaches in it just peaches organic peaches organic peaches 100 percent from the farm wow no apples today no apples just peaches. just peaches okay so that's great so that was a nice way of eating holistic and that was breakfast now what did you do for lunch today well lunch today we had a stir fry ginger stir fry okay and that, that consisted of, of broccoli snap peas bok choy cashews cashews are the protein that uh substitutes for the meat and it gives us that flavor there's no sugar no salt we use 100 percent olive oil so you use all natural oil, you use olive oil, and so this is bok choy, broccoli, broccoli, cashews, um, so snap peas, onions, green peppers, 
and brown rice. All of this is natural from the earth. From the earth, from the farm, from the whole food markets, they're all available. You know, you just got to know how, you, how where to go to shop, and um, it's, it's a beautiful thing. It's a little bit pricey, but you know, it's cheaper than going to the doctor. Oh wow, that's great. Now we said a little bit pricey. Why did you say it's a little bit pricey? Well, you know, compared to your regular supermarkets, you know, the Whole Foods charge a little bit more because they're getting it straight from directly from the farms. So they, they charge a, a little fee for that, an extra fee for that. So when you when you have to uh, bear in mind about people buying uh, organic foods, you have to bear in mind that it's going to be a little bit pricey because it's 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 not a it's not it's not major like a major uh. uh production you know is specialized mm -hmm. great 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 all right okay so what else do we have here um that you have made for um and so and this is also for um dinner i mean lunch or this is part of dinner this is a part of the uh the stuffed okay so tell us what we have here peppers. for dinner so this is stuffed red peppers the stuff with quinoa onions uh carrots uh, bok choy and uh, tomato sauce with, with uh, basil and uh, parmesan. So tell us, because um, this is a Daniel fast, so this is really a, a challenge for you. Uh, how did you come about the, t the tomato sauce? Um, the, the tomato sauce is all natural. It's actually homemade. We use ripe vine tomatoes, blended it up, put some herbs. Um, organo, uh, uh, basil, thyme, uh, real, real, 100% uh, homemade. Wow. So you actually made the sauce yes. organically, yes. the red peppers. You said bok choy is in there? Yes, little bok choy. Little bok choy. Wow. This is the Daniel Fast. Adam. What else do we have here? This looks very interesting this here. Is the, actually, this is the inside of the, 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 the peppers. This is the, the, the actual stuffing. So you see the, the red quinoa, the kale, the carrots, and the, the basil, and, and, and all the ingredients that I had mentioned before. Okay, so this is really coming to the Daniel Fast. Now, um, what do we have here? Now, this is the salad, the Italian green garden salad. What we did was we took mixed greens, vet, uh, uh, spinach, uh, broccoli, red onions, cucumbers, and uh, red peppers, and we just mixed it up together and we had 100% free, fat-free Italian dressing to, to coat it in a little bit of Parmesan cheese for taste. Great, great, great. Now we know a lot of you, uh a lot of you probably would say, you know, let me get on this periscope. You know, you're talking health, talking food, but we understand that health is wealth. Now, uh, I have a plate here, and just, we're just showing you what can be done for the Daniel Fast. So those of you that want to continue on this for 21 days, making a lifestyle change, getting more energy, I'll be bringing you tips from my kitchen. And um, let me see what he has here on my plate. I don't know if this is for lunch or what. I'm going to go Chef Reggie. Chef Reggie, what do we have? Yes, we're going to have a stir fry, especially for the bishop. He had a nice little uh, productive day. So this meal will actually bring him some energy to continue on for the, the evening until he's ready to eat dinner. Wow. Now, um, Chef Reggie, is that white rice still on the plate? No, that is no, not. No, because you don't have white rice on we the Daniel Fast. We don't, we don't eat white rice at all. We don't eat white How can we not eat white rice at all? Because it's bleached. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is bleached, Chef Reggie? Well, you know, uh, it's, it's, they use... Um, bleach to, to whiten. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you mean I strip all the nutrients <laughs> out of it? All the nutrients out of it, make it bare, and uh, make the, the pearly white color that you know that people like. They, they do that to sugar too. So we don't use white sugar. We use brown sugar. And it and, and it turns it right into high sugar. It, someone yeah. said high sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So tell us what you have here on, on our plate for this Daniel <laughs> fast. <laughs> we got the we got the cashews. We got the stir fry with the ginger. With the snap peas, made it in a, in a nice little formation, so it, it looks pretty. 
and at the same time, it, it looks as good as taste. All right, great, great, great. Well, this is great. Now, if I happen to get hungry, I mean, I only had one meal today, now that I'm thinking about it, although I had about two shakes. You made a shake for me earlier today. Yes. Um, I don't think we have the jar here of the what we take in doing for protein. I, or think the have, I think we have like a like a, a little, little example. Um, uh, I know we had the whey protein there, but I think the box is down on the lower level. Yeah, there we go. So, the bishop has um, pre-workout mixes that he was required to drink before he does his intense workouts. So what we do is we give him different uh, ingredients and um, the last couple of days we've been giving him cranberry juice to, to balance out the flavor of the, the shakes that give him the performance enhancement that he needs uh, for muscle recovery. Yes, well that is great, that is great. Okay, so I have my lunch here set up for me. Would you, um, someone says, can we eat brown sugar on the Daniel Fast? What would you tell them? Can you eat brown sugar on the Daniel Fast? Just a little, just a little bit, not too much. Um, actually, no sugar. Actually, no sugar. We have no, no sugar, no sugar at all. Daniel Fast, no sugar, no sweets. It's, it's, it's a total commitment, and uh, you, you could go without it, and, and you will feel the difference. Yes, and you can do the because um, your fruits have natural sugar in it. Yes, you only if, if, if it has sugar, it has to be natural. It has to come from the fruit. Okay. Yes, you can eat fruits on a Daniel fast, and there's a lot of foods you can eat on a Daniel fast because you went and did some research on that, didn't you? Oh, yes. Yeah, it was a lot of food you can eat. Now, what about, now yesterday you did, I don't think there's any more left over. You did a bean yesterday that we could do on yes, the Daniel yes, Fast. Yes. What did you do? Well, we had 16 beans and then we combined it with tomatoes and made a 16 bean tomato stew. And uh, it's high in protein and high in flavor and high in, high in uh, the, all, all the ingredients that you would need to satisfy your diet for the day. And it's part of the, the, the Daniel Fast. Yes. And um, yeah, we're, we're using the whey protein during the Daniel Fast as well, because that helps to substitute for the meats that we're not getting in the protein. So we are. Okay, someone says, I like your chef. He's very anointed. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, what is going to be on the menu for tomorrow? Do you have any idea? It's going to be a surprise. It's going to be a surprise. Okay, so you need to stay tuned. Because so, um, tomorrow's like season finale of the day in fact, so we're going, we're going to go out with a bang. We're going to go out with a bang tomorrow because yeah. tomorrow's the last meal for those that are ending tomorrow. Yeah, for those but then. I'm going on for 21 days, so that means that you and the meditation chefs, how many chefs is it that you all, all work together? About three. Three of you that work yes. together. So you're going to be telling them that the Master Prophet's going on the Daniel Fast for 21, 21 days. days. What will take place with all the meditation chefs? What will you all do? Well, um, we will put our brains together and uh, we're going to come up with a nice game plan to make it festive and not boring. Yeah, so I don't be just chewing on um, so, so broccoli yeah, every day. Yeah, yeah, you won't be, <laughs> you know, you gotta make it fun. The challenge of the Daniel Fast is to, to make everything great and not boring, you know, because it's hard commitment to, to, to eat greens every day and strictly that, you know. We have to find different, different uh, sources for, for inspiration. Um, India is a great source of inspiration because um, that's what they usually eat. They usually eat vegetarian. So they have great selections that we could pick and, and, and mix and match with Mediterranean, uh, Turkish, uh, all these places that have vegetarian foods. And even the new, the new age vegetarians of the contemporary age of today in the United States, we could take some ideas from them with the kale and the, the quinoa and we we'll just incorporate all of that. Wow, great. Well, see you in the morning. <laughs> Bless you. All right. Okay, we're gonna go on downstairs for a moment. I'm gonna show you um, the new gem. Can we take honey? No honey, no honey, no honey. 
um, what's the health break benefits of brown rice? Um, well, it's more nutritional. And you can also go on the website, um, go on um, the internet, um, you know, uh, of course, verify your sources and you will be able to um, be able to be blessed um, through that. Okay, so right now we're going to go into the gym area. And um, I'm going to get um, some of that. So this is um, our master, your stair master. And what is interesting about this, <laughs> this is serious. I have my watch on, which measures my heart rate, of course, and let me know how fast my heart goes. But this here you put around your waist. And this is called the Jacob Ladder for those that, um, and it's the best cardio workout. So what happens, this cord's here, when it pulls, it starts this moving. And you really want to get this in the center of your back, right? So once I start stepping on here, it's going to start going. So it moves. And the higher up you go, the faster it goes. So this here is your stairway, ultimate stair climber. And um, a good, if you do 20 minutes on here a day, five days a week would be great. But, um, uh, when I'm in the gym, I'll get my, you know, good 20 minutes in on the regular one. If I come down here, I may do five minutes, depending on what my workout is going to be. And this here jumps your heart rate up very, very, very quickly. The way you can tell if you're the going too much is that if you're not able to have a conversation or continue talking while you're working out. And of course, the higher up you go, the faster this goes. You're going to slow it down and come down lower. And it stops on the sun. So, this is the Jacob Ladder climber, and this has already climbed my heart rate up. I don't really care for this Garmin. It doesn't seem to keep a good track of uh, my heart rate. This is the elliptical. And then I have two brand new um, treadmills. All right. Now, Prophet Aaron and his girlfriend gave me this punching bag. Um, I guess they felt like. Um, Every so often, like beating up on folks. So they said, you know, take your frustrations out and um, on the punching bag. And so, as you know, um, this is the punching bag. But I usually also like to do stir where I do some of the kicking stuff as well. And somebody said, well, why in the world would you get into all of this? It's because a lot of times people miss the balance in ministry and, in the pro and, and even in the prophetic. And one of the things I've noticed is so many prophets are, um, they have a good word, but they're out of shape, including myself. And we are beginning to take on health as wealth. Uh, there's another prophet I'm going to be bringing to you as well that is big into fitness. A couple of prophets. Uh, so you'll be able to do that. Um, 
get the world of it, of the new kind of prophet that has balanced prayer as well as wellness um, that will um, motivate its people. This here is um, a all in one machine. I like this because I can actually do my pull downs on my back, my rows, my flies, and I can do my leg exercise on this here. This is also great for stretching out your back. So this is where you flip upside down. And of course your feet will be hanging in the air here and your head's down here. Um, good for needing that stretch from that lower back and um, kind of a different world when you start looking at the world upside down. And then Here's another machine kind of all in one that has the weights here and the bars here. What I like about this machine here is that it does move. So you can roll it in here, or you can roll it out here. And lock it. And here the bar rolls, and you gave able to stabilize it here. And there's a lot of great exercises you can do with this, as well as this here becomes a whole nother exercise rack. Okay. Then over here, uh, a lot of things you can do here are the TRX, which is um, Cables. You can take these and do these in your doorway at home. And so you can take on this and do um, some workouts, a lot of different types of workouts from this. That would be great. And you can go online and find a lot of things to do with this. Also, we use the ball for balance. This will assist you in your core area here and you can actually sit on the ball and actually do a lot of the weight things here and so this is another part of the gym uh, also we have the ab core here that you sit here and do these crunches for the abs as well as the free weights that you can put on here as well this is the weight rack, and also here with the three weights. Um, this is the place here where my wife loves to hang out. And um, this is great for your um, abs and doing sets of these. And as you can see, you can really start to feel this. And then of course, here you can do dips. Um, Prophet Manasseh comes here sometimes and it really works out with the dips here on this machine. Okay, that's it for our workout. I'll be up in a minute to share with you some things in the Word of the Lord. And I just want to say thank you for being on and I got a precious word that I'm going to share with you later on today. God bless you. Peace.